Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I want to talk about when the narcissist's mask tends to slip. As there was a comment about this on one of my videos recently. But before I do that. I want to say I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you all for putting up with my cartoon robot voice. And thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet. Please do so. So you can be a part of this channel's growth. Also don't forget to click the little bell to be notified each and every time I make a new video. And don't forget to like and share so you will increase the chances of others that need this information. To be able to find this information. And if you want to support even further. You can do so by the way of Patreon. And if you are already supporting by the way of Patreon. I humbly say thank you. I really do appreciate it. As every little bit helps. Now on with the topic. On one of my previous videos. Someone mentioned that the narcissists. Charade only lasts for about 3 months then their mask falls off. And I want to thank the person that left this comment. I do appreciate you providing your thoughts on this matter. And regarding this topic of the narcissist's mask slipping. Yes. It's usually around the 3 to 6 month mark before you really notice things going wrong. Many people have stated 6 months. And I believe they might be stating this to be fair with the timelines. However. It can be 5 months. It can be 4 months. It can be 3 months. But here's the other thing. It can be on the first day. That's right. Oftentimes the narcissist will tell us who they are on the first day they meet us. Right when they are putting their steps of love bombing in place. They might say something about how they did something violent but in a joking way to get us to laugh. They might mention how they randomly had adult relations in a restroom with a stranger. Or a co-worker. All the while the narcissist is gauging our response. Hoping their charm is enough for us to move forward with them even though we are hearing such strange and off-putting statements. Susie my ex is a good example. I remember on our first conversation she said things that I look back at now and think. There is no way on earth I would go forward knowing what I know now. Literally on day one. And with these things she was telling me. She was in her own way I think telling me who and what she was and is. Because you see the narcissist's mask slipping. Or them letting their secret out. Is more than just an accident. Because yes. They do do this by accident. But they also to a degree do it on purpose. Because for one it's a way to gauge your responses. Because if you see or hear a few things. And then you are too busy to spend time with them after you've heard and seen such things. They know you are onto them. And they might move on to someone else. But if they see you are still moving forward with them. And not only that. You are trying to help them with their many problems. They see you as an easy target. And in this situation they see themselves as having a green light to do what evil they choose to do to you. It's like inviting a vampire into your house. The vampire can't hurt you unless you invite them inside. And they use charm. A funny story. And your need to help others. Which is a good trait to have. But must be tempered with care and caution with who you choose to help and provide this side of yourself to. There have been movies where the vampire will make statements that they aren't such a good person. With a big smile on their face. And the soon to be victim. Laughs and invites them in. Only to meet their doom. Narcissists are the same way. Now if you miss the things they say in the beginning. The big reveal is usually about 3 to 6 months in. And that's where they have their big blow up argument or fight over something that you didn't do. Or something small. I've talked about this in the narcissist do do test videos I've made. And their favorite reason is you were late to meet them somewhere or you were late picking them up. We talk about how they all seem to read off of the same sheet of music. I've met a few women after Susie that tried the stunt with me. To which I promptly ended the relationship. And thankfully so. But during all of this. They accuse you of cheating on them. They just go nuts on you. 
and then at the end of it all. They might provide a real vague and hollow apology a few days later. A superficial way to reel you back in. And if you are willing to be reeled back in. Because the dopamine release from the love bombing was so good. That you hope to feel that good feeling again. Then the narcissist knows. They have a good and willing victim on their hands. And you have just now given them a green light to abuse you. Or at least that is what they are thinking in their warped minds. Now why is all of this important to discuss again and again and again? Because we are constantly in situations no matter it be dating relationships. Or work. Or wherever where people will try to test you in this manner. And it's up to you to not to be so fast to react. But to slow down time like in the matrix. And see everything that is happening. And avoid it. And then very carefully pulling yourself away from such a situation or such an individual. This is also important because we see these kinds of things play out in our world on a big scale. The puppet masters give us the world. Then they rip the rug out from under us. Here's an example of this. As many of you know. I also talk about men and women issues. And in that. I recognize that both men and women do the same evil as one another. And this is very important because, despite this fact, we live in a world where society says men do evil. And women are all good. Which is very very dangerous. Because it allows narcissism to grow in the ranks of the women that spread this lie. And for the abuse that women do to go unchecked. Well think about this for a moment. At the start of these women movements. It was said by many of their leaders. That women won't be free until the family unit is completely destroyed. And others were saying the family unit has no place for men. Just for women and children. But on the other hand. There was this talk about equality and this and that and the other. We'll wait a minute. Destroying the family unit doesn't sound like equality to me. But this is what narcissists do. They will say something horrible and true about their real intentions sometimes. Not all the time. But sometimes on day one. But you overlook it because. You think. Well that doesn't seem right. Or maybe I'm misjudging this person and situation. Because after they say such a thing. They might do something nice for us. Or we might see them do something nice for someone else. And the two actions don't match each other. So we as humans wanting to give others the benefit of the doubt. We latch onto and remember the things we see them doing that are good. Because we know people aren't just all good and that we've made mistakes in the past as well. So we are very willing to overlook these evil statements. And in this example I just gave. If someone would have said. Hey hang on for just a minute. You want to destroy the family unit. I think there's something wrong with your movement here and it doesn't appear to be about equality. We wouldn't be in the mess we are in right now. But there were too many people saying. Well they are just trying to make a move for equality. And we all overlooked the evil words we heard with our own two ears. Just like we did with the narcissists in our lives. Now if a narcissist does want something big from us like money. Or property. And they have learned through years and years of other failed relationships. They might be able to keep their mask on for longer to get to the point where they can steal these items from us. Sometimes for decades. But even then. I believe somewhere in the middle of all of that. They probably said something really really off. Or they went nuts and picked a fight for no reason with the person they were with. Only to cry and say they don't know what got into them the day before. Hot and cold. Dr. Jekyll. And Mr. Hyde. They usually follow the same routines. Much like the movie The Stepfather. There are two versions of this movie. I like the older first version best. As you can see how this man picks divorced women. That. Are lonely. And says and does all of the right things. And because the woman is taken by the love bombing. She can't see that he's a creep. But usually her child can sense that he's a creep. And through the love bombing. 
he drops little hints he's a bad individual. But it can be taken as a joke. Then out of nowhere, he loses it. And either it results in the death of the person he's with, or he blows his cover and has to start over with a new family. Narcissists that are women or men are the same in this regard. And the goal for you is to be able to see their mask slip. Know what is happening. Slow things down. And pull ourselves away. And the narcissist will figure this out. And they will move on to someone else. That someone else they already have on the side they are seeing at the same time they are seeing you. Well that's all I have for now. Thank you for your comments. Keep them coming. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.